going back to a co-working place in Nashville today called Workhorse. Great name. So I didn't really show you around last time I was here, so I'll make sure and do that today. Video number 30. Welcome. <laughs> Hey everyone, good day to you. One of the things that I was wanting to do in March instead of like the full vlog that I did last month was to do a quick sketch during every single weekday, every single work day, and leave the weekends to be the weekends. But I'm gonna be reviewing a post right now and then I'm gonna do a sketch note of it. And so the post that I'm going to sketch note is by Seth Godin and it's called And Then What Happens? And I'll link to it in the description below. So as expected, this is a really great post by Seth, and I love how concise he is, and I think that's one of the reasons that he's been able to post every day for as long as he has. Yeah, you know, he doesn't get overburdened by, you know, just feeling like he has to hit a word count. But this idea, but this idea in particular, and then what happens, is that we have a lot of really, like, you know, loud opinions, strong opinions about what should happen, but it would behoove all of us to like calm down, think about like, okay, you know, and then what happens next? And kind of use that to map out and think about where we want to be and how we're going to get there. Thanks for watching this today and I'll be back. I don't know if I'll post tomorrow. I'm actually off tomorrow. So maybe something on Saturday, but at the very least Monday, whatever that day is in March, look for a new video. Thanks so much, everybody. See ya.